Hello my wonderful visionaries and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out Mullet Mad Jack, one of the games that was been showcased on the Steam Next Fest. Now the last game that I checked out, uh, The Land Beneath Us, um, now I thought that that married with my vibe, right? I thought that that was very cool. But this game is a complete game changer. I've not had such a visceral response to a trailer for a game than this. So, as a massive fan of Neon White, I loved the fast-paced, um, speed-running, first-person shooter style. This was recommended on my Steam Steam page based off that game, and I've, I've tried this game out for about 10-15 minutes prior to this. So get a good feel for it. And it hits every single... Well, it hits every box, ticks every box completely. We've got an 80s synth aesthetic... It's stylized 80s, 90s anime. There's influences from Akira in this. We've got influences from Cowboy Bebop, like Evangelion, just some of the some of the greatest anime um, that we know. But also there's some there's some satire there. It's an outrageous story about <laughs> a future where essentially we're all driven by dopamine, and um, yeah, we've got to essentially live. We're being live streamed, and we have to keep getting kills to stay alive. Basically, um, if that's not cultural criticism and um, a poignant one at that, then I don't know what is. But yeah, hits hits everything. And I've not started, I've not started it on the uh, on the proper menu screen because I want to I want, I want to sample the beats with you because this is exactly what this channel is all about. This is exactly what I want to be covering. My Return to this YouTube channel could not have been rubber stamped with a better game. So we're going to appreciate the the just the vibes that this game gives off beforehand, and then it goes completely wild. So it's very chill, very vibe. We've all seen. Look how beautiful this is. For an indie game too. I won't lie. Earlier, I had this running for at least 10 minutes just over and over again on my speaker just listening to this. We will crack into the game. Just want to appreciate that this is this was made by three people. Three people look at the production values of this game this already looks like it's going to join the pantheon of games like umarangi generation um you know jet set radio those games that are just stylized and iconic just aesthetic for me it's a 10 out of 10 but we're going to crack on and uh i'm going to show you what this game is all about and we'll uh yeah mm. Sorry, this is this, this is this is a let's play, but my gosh. Okay, so let's scrap this because, like I said, I played a little bit to start with, but only like ten minutes or so. We're gonna start off on easy, and then obviously, if we can, if we smash easy, then we'll go on to normal. But it's even a floppy disk. Wait, what's this one? Leisure mode. I just want to see the plot. The timer is turned off. This is not the way the game is designed. <laughs> we'll go for easy to start with. We can always ramp it up, you know? Plus. Nah, yeah, let's do that. Get used to the controls, the fast pace of the game, a mode with a little less challenge. We'll go for a balanced option a little bit later. Um, I know this is quite quick, so I'm not going to be able to read this in time. Far in the future, many in the internet merge into a new being. Humans and dopamine every 15 seconds or else they die. It's now ruled by the super rich AI robots called the Robillionaires. <laughs> You're 15 seconds. Sir, initializing our live stream show. Looking for a protagonist. Tracking. Hmm, he sounds like a strong silent type. 
He looks psychotic. Look at those eyes. <laughs> he clearly is. Look at how good this game looks. Influencer princess. She's got two billion followers, you know. Man, there's a reason she's got two billion followers. She fan. Release her on a pillow. This is so impressive for three people. Like, what? See, ever since Stranger Things, like this, the synth synthwave's back, man. In the mainstream, there's people dying for this type of stuff. Give me neon palm trees. Look at those shades. Like Terminator style robot henchman. Angrier on the num on the number plate. <laughs> I mean the Vitruvian man, but it's Okay, so. Okay, yes, we've got reload on there. So, mouse to look around. Give that a little whack. Alright, let's go. I do not profess to be good at FPSs on PC, by the way. See ya. Soda restores, you can kick, shoot the machines to get soda. Finish you. <laughs> get the uh the chat on the side. Alright, got this is where I this, from this point onwards I only have fifteen seconds. Injecting the love into my bloodstream. Your blood feels the sweet, sweet flavor of those lights. You now have 15 seconds of life. For every kill, the audience gives you more time to live. So you get less time the harder the game is. So I get three seconds per kill. Start off with 15. But if you bore the audience not killing anything, they will let you die after 15 seconds. So I can kick, shoot. Ready? Let's go. All right. Sounds like you passed the test. You're not okay. dead. <laughs> so we get it. So I believe this this is this game is a roguelike. Like or light. I'm actually not quite sure. I didn't get to the end of a run. Oh, hold on. Our princess is near. Tracking. You have ten floors to reach our princess. Ten floors. But if you die, you come back to all these floors. You read the terms and services of our app, right? <laughs> <laughs> what a bitch. Here goes the first floor. Good luck. You have 15 seconds. Destroy these damn robots. Ba 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 bang. Whoa. Whoa, that's wild. Do I have to kill all the robots or can I just get through? Oh, double kick. Nice. Oh, 
Oh my god, the speed running for this is going to be wild. Oh, you didn't die? Whoa. Fine. I don't think that was a very good fire sword. Decrease the life of the boss in the next... Exploding an enemy gives extra seconds. Oh, the katana looks fucking cool though, man. Mm. So we don't have to reload. We just shred it. Oh, you've got, got to do this, right? That's just too cool. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Shotgun, speed boost, explosive barrels will spawn into the most convenient places. Shotgun. Oh man, do I want the shotgun? Or do I want... Boost me movement speed even more? Or we'll spawn barrels? Shit, I need to kill someone. Ooh, okay. I've got down to nine seconds at a point there. Oh. Life second extra seconds of life up to one second. Don't know what that means. Slow motion. Activate slow motion in your last three seconds of life. Oh no, yeah, that's extra seconds of life. Gameplay loop is so much fun. <laughs> Nutshot, shoot your enemies in the crotch gives an extra second. Boost movement speed or pistol. I've got my katana though, let's just go speed boost. Wild, man. This is definitely a game to test your
I'm not killing all the enemies though. I don't know if that's an issue. Double jump. Maybe we start working on taking some of the boss's health down. Because I'm quite happy with the katana right now, but oh, I do want to try the shotty. Oh, should we try the shotty? Let's try the shotty, why not? Let's... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is a dream. Oh my god. This is a dream. The shotgun's a dream. Scan their items even through walls. Foes. Chance of piercing enemies up to 50%. Piercing. Shot you going through. Get me in there. Get me in there. The shotgun is where this game is built. Amount of extra magazine bullets, 25. Explosive extinguishers to freeze. Fire sword. Oh, I just got the shotty, but the fire sword is sick. Okay. We'll go bigger clips. Because we can get an extra 25%. We only get like how many shots? Oh my lord, this is so much fun. And I, I don't even feel like I'm very good at this, but. I feel like I'm pulling faces whilst I'm doing this. <laughs> I, honestly, it's um it's quite intense. During like the the levels, it's difficult to concentrate on anything else other than just getting through the level and focusing. Um But okay, we're on seven or eight right now. hundred percent piercing. We're gonna do that. We're on nine. Princess is a bit higher up. Execution, baby. Kick you in there, bro. Let's go. Whack, whack. Get out of my way. You ain't my friend. Victory. Okay. Doing this video whilst drinking beer is um definitely definitely a great life choice making content ricochet chance headshots give an extra second bonus oh headshots oh shot he's got a wide spread so that could that could work oh no oh no this is now got scary Oh, whoa, this has got scary all of a sudden.
99% life. Press to break glass. Oh god, this looks scary. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go, bro. Cyber holder. Oh, a double jump would be helpful right now. Oh, that was... Billion... Billionaire killed? Oh... That's one of the bad guys. That was... So when you fight the bosses... You have a set amount of life. Cool. So that was one of the rogue billionaires. And that's probably the aim of the game, right? Save her. Are we going to get any more story? I wonder if it's just going to be this. Oh, we are. Of course. Fourth wall breaking there. It looks like one of the bullets from Enter the Gungeon. Chapter complete. Total time. Robots killed. Man, it's just hit me. I've mentioned all of these different games. Well, all these different anime that this game reminds me of. But Hotline Miami. Hotline Miami. It is. Okay, maybe it's a little more chaotic and a little less difficult, but then... Choose a permanent power. Add a button on the shop to re-roll the upgrades three times per chapter. Keep your last upgrade into your new life. Make weapon upgrades of level two available in the shop. Old school VHS, man, they're hitting every vibe. Keep last upgrade, I think, is good. <laughs> Plot armor. Last upgrade, keep you can keep your last upgrade into your new life. Activate slow motion in your last seconds of life. <laughs> Tamagotchi. Hello world. Are you my boss? Toxic behaviours. So it's not all like we've got a little bit of story in between. Granted it's it's not much, but it is definitely enough. So I lost all my upgrades. The upgrades available. Okay, so I start afresh. Hmm. It's cool that you get these little bits of context. Oh. So that is acid. Can't stand in that. Soundtrack, man. This OST is going to be banging. Unwanted. You can pick up items in the scenario. Uh, can I pick them up? Am 
Am I finishing something specific or? No. Okay, I'm not picking up anything there. Use mouse two to dash through acid. Okay, so I can dash through acid with, oh my God, that's gonna be the whole theme of this one, isn't it? Okay. We're gonna reconnect. Oh, so I've got to finish your saves up. Shoot chains to break locked doors. Cool, okay. We're adding a little bit of complexity. So I wonder if I die now, do I, do I, I start from 11, I don't start from zero, maybe? And then, oh, hold on. Her princess is near. Tracking. which I kind of like, because it gives you that rogue, it, it means you've got to nail 10 levels, which means that those 10 levels can get very hard. And it's just 10 levels, right? It's definitely doable, you can definitely get through that, if that is the case. Because obviously there's like a hundred floors or, you know, however many floors to this game and you've got to start from zero and get through them like that's... But I think this is a checkpoint. I wonder if... Alright, so... Let's keep going. <laughs> he looks so... Shocked. You have 15 seconds. Destroy 15. Damn rope. I'm destroying those bad boys. Let's go. Boom. Eat my bullets. Eat my bullets, bitch. I wanted to kick him. Like that. Oh, shit. someone quick shit <sighs> okay the floor is lava makes this definitely harder all right so, okay so I, i'm curious to see how they go about these upgrades because we lose our upgrades every 10 floors which does dent that sense of like build variety um and you're getting three every floor. It, it just seems like they're kind of just generic boosts. Maybe we'll see. Um, at the moment, it kind of doesn't really matter because they're they're adding they're drip feeding us slight changes, right? They're drip feeding us the like shooting the having to shoot the doors, for example, or having to dash through toxic sludge. So explosive barrels will spawn. I think the explosive barrels are good though because I can just hit them. They don't seem to hurt me. First shot. The first shot or slash after reloading deals double damage. Damage doesn't seem like too much of an issue. I do think the next boss might be a bit challenging, but I am on... I am on easy. Shit, can I get through? I think the incentive is to get through as quickly as possible. 
I'm going for the nut shot. I'm enjoying the shot you right now. Shit. I went down to like five seconds that time. I am not good at this game. <laughs> kicking an enemy, your next shot deals or slash deals double damage. Right, I do a lot of kicking, so yeah, that's very good. I hadn't actually finished one of those like that. No, let me through. <laughs> okay. Soda grenade, throw empty soda cans and they explode. I don't even know, how do you do that? Is there a button to do that? Am I, do am I doing that every time I reload? Fingers can't move quick enough. <laughs> you got the dash. You've got the dash. Which exploding an enemy gives an extra second lollipop. Extra second. Let's go for the lollipop. We're enjoying the shot you right now. The dash means you can go so fast, actually. It's almost... You obviously need to reload, and every time you reload, you need to... Whoa, okay. This is very impressive for a demo. Although some of these levels have felt a little bit similar. Some of these, de yeah, some of these levels have felt a little bit similar so far. Cure bottles for every collected bottle on the tables in the stage gain an extra second of life. I don't even know what they're talking about. Let's decrease the boss's life. Let's start doing that. Speed boy. That was wild. That was wild. <laughs> Drone kicker. Gain an extra second. Let's just gain extra life. I think I'm going against the boss now. Be 
this is a very good um like very good game to like train your first person break the balls why not okay I'm getting more life but I actually oh you throw the cans okay let's go Oh shit. Whoa. <laughs> oh god, I am not an FPS shit player. I'm getting wrecked. <laughs> Can we get him next to a barrel? I can imagine some of the runs on this are going to be insane. Ah! Oh! Finish! Whew, that was so intense. I think I'm actually slightly sweating. Ooh. Oh, I ripped out his eye. Man, this is on easy. Oh, man, some of the speed running on this is going to be absolutely insane. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm so digging this game, though. I want a bit more of that aesthetic, because the, uh, the aesthetic's, like, super chill. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> Your mullet rank mohawk. <laughs> I don't know if that's good. Is that good or not? Thank you for playing our alpha build. What well, that's it. Okay. OG, old school box. Thank you for playing. Be part of our community in Discord. Report bugs, give feedback, or just share your best plays. If you like, give the game a wish list. I've already wish listed it, so. Okay. I did play it on easy. It was that was the first like two chapters, right? First two bosses. What do I think? I think the game itself is super fun. It's like adrenaline pumping. It it kind of just you're kind of playing it about. You're kind of playing the whole thing on instinct, actually, which is which is a nice which is nice just to play. Just hop between these different um, these different levels. The upgrades left something to be desired. The weapons were cool. I think you know um, this is only a demo. They could definitely have more weapons, more upgrades, like going down the line. Um, obviously, the aesthetic for this game, this 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 intro vibe, which, as we can see, is playing now, is very very cool. And I, I'd like to have some downtime between some of some of the adrenaline stuff. Obviously, we only play two chapters, um, but that was one thing I would say, you know, to the devs, is give us some stuff in between. You know, give us some like story, give us some of this. Because like the action's good, but slowing down a little bit every now and then is also is also really good. But absolutely going to be getting this one day one. Um, I might even I might even record some content, you know, and play um, on you know the medium difficulty because this was this was obviously a bit easy. I didn't actually die through my entire through my entire play. But I'm also not very good at these types of games. So um, yeah, I'm 30. I'm getting older. And my reactions just aren't quite there. So, um, but yeah, I'll definitely give it, definitely, 
you know have another run on this demo and um, retake it there from from there. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, give it a comment. Perhaps watch my other videos on the channel. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.